Okay, so here's a fun comparison. And this is the one that I'm going to start with. It's like the very beginning of both books. It is the very beginning of both books where it says to create your name. In the Wreck This Journal, it says this book belongs to write your name in white, illegibly, tiny letters, backwards, faintly, using large letters, although it gives you <laughs> the smallest space to do that here. Um, and then your address and your phone number, if found, flip to a random page and read the instructions, then return it. So With this, I'm gonna get into this box and take out my beloved quilt. All right, got my ink. Particular method. You go through a lot of ink so quickly, just so quickly. All right, this book belongs, I have to write my name away. Write my name illegibly. That's pretty easy, I can just use my normal handwriting with this. Okay, I have ink all over my hands. I I really love using my quill pen, but I completely understand why it went on stuff. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner in white to write my name in white. There's that. And then to write my name faintly, I'm going to use an art sketch pencil. we are. Page one of each one done. See you the rest of the week. Create and wreck with me. This journal, it specifically says on the instructions that order is not important, but I'm not sure if I want to be consistent. Oh, and there, here's why there's, you add your own page numbers. I learned that. And then there's a list of materials. Some of them are scary, like saliva. That's, mm, that questioning thing is happening. So we're just going to flip poke it. holes in this page using a pencil. Page. This is a little aggressive. There we go. So we got our holes in our page. And I was at work today after I worked out, and we're gonna find out what kind of mess we can get into with these two books. And it's been raining most of the day. It's so just going to pick a random page here. And this says to create a shared drawing, start a drawing on this page and have a friend finish it. So I'm gonna have to find okay, I'm gonna right here. Okay, what does this say? Collect the stamps off all of your mail. Stamp. And I'm gonna use a glue stick. I just grabbed the when I need to block out my eyebrows. Because this is the page I wanna return to, the stickiness of one of these sticky pads went off. But I'm gonna just, okay. I'm going to start making I guess what I'm going to call mugs. Uh, let me see. Okay, everyone, it's day four of do the create random page. It says cover this page using only office supplies. Okay, so let me go find some office supplies. Okay, so I have post-it notes. This is a little hole stamper thing. I got markers, dry erase, and some permanent markers, a thin permanent marker, pencils, pens, highlighters, some erasers, some paper clips, staple, thumbtack, a binder or page clip, some of those uh, hole repairs, a stapler, whiteout, scissors, and some sticky tack. And that's what I'm going to. I imagine this is one of those times where you just kind of have to interpret what we're doing. So I can just kind of decorate this however I want to. I'm gonna start with, with uh, making sure that there's staples in my stapler. And just sort of making a line of staples.
Okay, so that took a little while. Let's zoom in here. All right, that took a little while, but as you can see, I got some staplers. I got white out. I made some charts with the markers and the highlighters. Check mark with the pencil, some pie charts. Uh, there's tape all over this thing. This is some sticky tack right here that I covered in tape. This is a loose fitting thing. Got the white holder just wrote out in different pens. Just stuck office supplies all over it. And I hope that's uh, what I am supposed to do. And I put little cuts all through it in various spots. So there's that. Now it's time for Create This Book. And let's see what we have today. This seems like a good page. Glue here. All right, is there another instruction to this? Create a pocket, apply glue inside the dotted line on page 57. Be careful not to glue the top. Close the book. I'm gonna put glue along the dotted line here. Press that down, give that a moment to dry and a moment for me to clean off my fingers. You don't want to know how long I have this very messy, I had to do it a few hundred times, owl, origami owl, and I need to find where I glued this, and I made this little pocket, I'm going to see if I can, I might have to fold him in half. Not like he hasn't been folded a billion other times, but we'll just, we'll stick our owl in our I think it's day five of the week of Create This Book slash Wreck This Journal. We're going to do the normal thing. We got Create a page of notes. Take notes on something mundane. The people around you, what the room looks like, etc. All right, I will do this one. So that's that. Create this book. It says draw with glue. Okay, so I went and got all of the glue that I own. So we got some super glue. I got regular Elmer's glue. I have some glitter glue, E6000 glue, glue stick and some fabric glue. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I will make a little face with my fabric glue. Just gonna make a little doodle there. I'm not the most creative person. Oh, that that came out very explosively. And I if I can get some glue out of here. All right, there we go. That's a lot more controlled of a heart. Welcome to day six of Wreck This Journal and Create This Book. And for today, what we're going to do... So we'll start with this one. This one's closest to us. And I'm going to start... There was a place where you could start doing page numbers. It says add your own page numbers starting here. So I'm going to count this as page one, two, three, four five, six. All right. It says to draw fat, thin, to draw fat lines and thin, pushing really hard with the pencil. So we a monochrome, to create a monochrome, choose one color, use only that color to decorate this page. All right. So lots of hues and shading and implements involved with this one. 
and I need to go find... Along with our pencils and crayons, I also have some pink nail polish, some chalk, variations of pink, this pink cloth, some paints, and some pink spray paint. Okay, so we're going to start with the quote-unquote normal mediums. And I have a whole bunch of crayons and colored pencils. And I'm just going to start by filling... Okay, so here it is, fully finished. I actually did end up adding some lipstick colors and lip stains on there. Made sure to put my initials on every page. Can you see my... Okay, so... Pushing hard. I don't know how to draw a fat line. Like, maybe if I... That's kind of thin still. Doesn't say they have to be. Or on my Twitter, which will be linked below, to show me how you would make thin and fat lines for your paper. All right, I will. Okay, everybody, welcome to the last day of Breakfast Journal Create This Book. And for that, we're going to go to the second to last page of each. We create this book, and we're going to go to the second to last page, which is this. And it says, create scenery. Think about a place you would like to travel, real or fantasy. Draw or take, take draw pictures or take notes about how it would look and feel. All right. Um... I don't, I'm at a loss there, so there's, there's that. Uh, second to last page of breakfast journal. Okay, this is the last page here. This is, cover this page in tape. Create some kind of pattern. Okay, so here we have the completed things. I actually had to take them to work because I was behind. But I have drawn, I'm not an artist, I've said this before, but for the Create the Scenery, this is a magical mansion. This is the fantasy one. This is the 1920s over here. And again, I'm not an artist. I try to make a chandelier, a feather, a constable hat, top hat, a bob, a champagne glass, and a flapper dress. And then over here is a stage. This is supposed to be like the, where you can't see it, then the actual stage, curtains. And down here is the beach. And pretty self-explanatory, the mansion is actually a vampire mansion that I made up for a role-playing game before, where it's forever nighttime, so that explains this. It's a cursed mansion if, for vampires, and if humans go in it, they can't get out. There's a big fireplace, and it's the first place you enter when you go through the magical double doors. There's a big lake behind it, and it's hidden in a deep forest. Um, and there's all kinds of staircases and tower rooms, and it's wonderful. Then we have, for the theater, um, this can be any kind of a theater, as we can, um, as you cannot see. Because I don't know what I'm doing this way. Okay. For the theater, we have, it could be any kind of a theater. Vegas, Broadway, burlesque, local comedy clubs, operas. I would happily be either on stage or what have you. We also have the beach, which is the beach, the beach, the beach. I just really like going to the beach. And then 
uh, the 1920s, the costumes, the dress, a dress party, just to go back to the 1920s, to go to a club like the 1920s where they have flapper dresses and champagne and, um, you know, the, the feather flapper, everything, just wish I could have that. And of course I have my initials all over it. So that's the final thing that we have for create this book for this segment. If you like this, I can keep going. And then for wreck this journal, this said to cover this in tape. Now I imagine you could do more with this if you want to do it like washi tape. But so this is the tape one. I imagine you could get more if you had washi tape. But I only had I only had packing tape and scotch tape, both of which are clear tapes to use for the cover this page in tape, create some kind of a pattern. So on this side, which I know is hard to see, it goes scotch tape, packing tape, scotch tape, packing tape, and just a straight up horizontal design. On this side, I tried to make like a herringbone design going from scotch tape to packing tape, scotch tape, packing tape, and just doing that back and forth. Again, I don't think you can see that, but that is it for the Wreck This Journal as well. Again, if you want to see me do one or both of these again, let me know, do the thumbs up thing, and you know.